Hello guys, I am Luzinel and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony Last episode we got into the New World program which is a VR kind of situation where we're in a virtual world and we're trying to find something we still don't know what it is but supposedly it will reveal uh, the secret of the outside world or whatever and we have already found some interesting information that we'll be talking about this episode but anyway let's get right into the episode as i said last episode uh i'm very excited to keep playing this and so yeah let's just begin i'm also excited because if it really is the neo world program there is bound to be something related to the second game because if you remember, uh, this, in the second game... Uh, well, no spoilers, but it is related to this whole thing. Somehow. Uh, again, I don't want to reveal too much, because I am planning on playing the other games uh, once I'm done with this one. So, yeah. And anyway, look, let's get into the episode now. What a strange clock! Is this Muse taste? I mean, it does have curves. Great joke. No, it can't be. This world was originally created by Monokuma. That is true, yeah. Uh, I, but it can't be his taste either, right? Okay, so the problem with this that I'm already see feeling is that he's way too slow. And once I start running, he's way too fast. Like, I'm not able to pick anything up. Which is, I guess, the pro it was a problem already. So with Himiko. Mm. Is it really okay to leave Kokichi alone? Won't it be a problem if he finds the secret of the outside world first? Yeah, I guess so. <gasps> it's probably fine. Gunt is with him, after all. I don't think it could be hidden or tampered You're with. You're right. Okay, then. Let's get started. Yeah, okay. So we're going up. I remember uh, Mew told us to go up with her. Uh, so I like the, the whole style of, like, all RPG. But at the same time, it looks kind of like a mobile game, which I don't love. But you know, it's a, it's a funny little aesthetic, like even in-game they complained about the graphics and everything. Okay, so we are in the rooftop. Snow? Yeah, it's, it's weird. There's snow here. Yeah. And, and I didn't- Whoa, 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 what's up Kaito? What the heck? Whoa, it's snow! Look, my roll. It's snow! Look, snow! Okay, Ew. Jesus. Are you a dog? Actually, I, I think someone has drawn them as, as ducks, and it's pretty cute. I, is it cold here? Our avatars can feel cold? Sure. Yeah, I mean, they can feel pain, so of course they will be able to feel, uh, yeah, pain, uh, cold, yeah. Not only you can feel cold, but you can feel pain and pleasure, of course. In fact, you don't even need to use birth control here. Okay, well, that, that's, yeah, <laughs> like, that's not what I was asking. I feel like the more you talk, the more you'll dislike you. Oh. That's right. How about we start by exploring the rooftop? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so right away there doesn't seem to be a lot to explore. I mean, let's look around, I guess. Oh, oh there's this, yeah, storage room. I suppose I could check inside. Okay, I didn't mean to do that just yet, but hey. Uh, um... It doesn't seem as though there's anything of interest is here. Uh, of interest here. And in any case, I brought the program to delete all dangerous subjects that could be used as weapons. Yeah. Is that right? Well. I don't see anything dangerous that could be used as a weapon. And besides, this is a simulator, right? We won't actually die, right? Yeah, I mean, again, Dang and Rumpa 2. Not to say, you know, but it is a. Uh... Is this gonna fall? Is this platform gonna fall? Perhaps because all these weapons were deleted, the shelves are empty. Probably, yeah. The only thing there is, uh, the only thing here is an empty box and some lattice? Rolled up carpet, huh? It does look safe. For what? Yeah, okay, okay, alright, I, I get it. Cool, alright. Is there nothing in there? In the, um, in the carpet? Okay, let's look through here, I guess. Mounted by binoculars. Binoculars. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, looks like you get a lot of experience with binoculars. You're such an obvious peeping Tom. <laughs> what? Have a lot of experience with binoculars? What does that mean? Oh, Shuichi. Oh, Shuichi. 
You can see pretty far with these mounted by binoculars. I mean, duh, they're binoculars. Man, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Feel free to look around with them. Get a look, good look of everything. Okay. So maybe we can find Kokichi? I mean, okay, so according to the map... Oh, I like that there is like this field of view. I can't look further than this. Um, I mean, he went probably through this road. And then up to, yeah, the river. And I don't know how he would, like, get through this. Mir Mirai Hills. Oh. The binoculars can't see past oh. here. Uh, this is where the line of the map was. Yeah, the, the end of the world. You know... I told you, it's not a line! Then... Why do binoculars stop there? <laughs> Aggressive men are always coming and going and coming to... S what? I'll explain it to you when we're here, when we get there. So next, get your panties in a bind? What is he talking about? <laughs> what could be over there? Yeah... Again, it has to do with the situation of the school. Because they use the similar terms, as I said. Uh, the the borders of this virtual world are, are called the end of the world, you know, it's, it's, there's literally nothing to the other side and Monokuma and the Monocops refer to the border of the school as the end of the world or as uh, as though it was marking the end of the world So I, I am curious if that has some relation and if maybe this is an inception kind of situation and we're actually inside of a virtual world inside of another virtual world, you know, that would be crazy. Anyway, keep on saying something, I guess. Did you manage to examine all the places that called you, right? Oh. Yes, but there weren't too many points of interest. Uh. I was hoping to look a little bit more, but hey. It's really cold. I didn't think it'd be snowing. <laughs> nice, Himiko. That means if you trip and hit your head, it won't hurt. Oh, Don't be rude. I'm not the type to trip that often. <laughs> oh. That's way too cliche of a gag. <laughs> Jeez. Snow in the mansion. Home in us. Huh. Great job killing Game Simulator. You know. But we're not leaving any pr footprints in it. What's up with that? That's true. It was probably programmed like that. It'd be easy to find the culprit from the footprints. Oh, I guess, ah. yeah. Yeah, it looks that way. But you don't need to worry about it. This is just a simulator. And there are no dangerous items here whatsoever. Let's go outside. We can cross the river and head to the chapel. But you know... But how do we cross the river? I don't remember seeing any bridges. <laughs> You're stupid. You're approaching seven... Seven tar territory? What? Let's go over there so I can explain to you this all at once. Alright, so let's get there, I guess. I was hoping I could see more. Can I Can I see anything? Or Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, everyone is just... Oh, hi, Kibo. Hmm. Is something wrong? Well... I was just looking at that wall, and I started to think about what Miu said. Huh? About how nothing exists beyond that wall, yeah. And then I started to think about the wall that surrounds the academy, yes, thank you. Never mind, forget what I just said. Yeah, thanks for the clue. Okay, that was a well little done. bit too, yeah. We should get going. If we're late, Miu will show us out with Bulgar profanities. Probably, I mean, she already kind of did, you know. Uh, so let's see if there's anything around here first. I like doing this in RPGs. I would love to keep playing... Uh, whoa, okay, this is kind of scary, actually. Uh, Octopath Traveler. I remember... I, oh. I played this a while no. back. Is this the secret of the outside world? Oh, one mana coin. Well, great. Sure, that was gonna that's gonna help a lot. Man, this is so tough to control. <laughs> okay, let's start with Mew. Let's progress the story. <laughs> Quit taking your sweet ass time. Hurry up and come on me. What? I mean, come with me. Hurry up. What? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. What's with the... Oh, is Sumugi doing this? Uh -huh. There's a field of snow all around us, but it's made so it'll never pile up on the road. That's a relief. I don't have to worry about getting lost now. I guess so. Okay, so let's look at the bridge. Uh -huh. There's no bridge after all. How are we supposed to cross the river now? Just so you know, my magic doesn't work in this Whoa. world. Don't tell me. Do we have to swim? Yeah. Fine, I won't tell you. Besides, you can't go into the river in the virtual uh. world. Then, should we use something as a boat? Moron! You're not even trying to hide your stupidity. Alright, alright, jeez, nerd. <laughs> the river's current is too fast. A boat will get swept away easily. But... So, we need a bridge then, right? Listen up! I told you, we already got a bridge. What? 
there's a wider river downstream that connects to this one. Next to it, there's a long signboard that says Mirai Hills. Apparently it was made for the mansion, but we can use it as a makeshift bridge. Well then. So we just need to get that signboard? Okay, that made me sound like a robot. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, but I'll ask the masochist to get to to go get it. He just loves being bossed around. Who, me? Hey, go get the signboard. What? Huh? What, me? Jeez. Yeah, go get the signboard. Uh, why? Wow, why is <laughs> freaking Mackie? <laughs> yeah, you're a total masochist. What? what? <laughs> why suddenly? What? Do y'all think that about me? <laughs> Just to make it special, I wanted to get it while you crawl like a dog. No uh, way. Um, no, I think I'll walk normally, thank you. Yeah, let's just get there. Freaking bullies. <laughs> okay, Mirai Hills. There's a signboard, it says Mirai Hills. Let's take it. Right. Hey, nice. I need to grab this and head back to the others. Okay. Oh, I can't run with it even. <laughs> I told you to crawl like a dog. No. Did you actually thought I'd be out now forced? Whatever, keep wasting time and lay the signboard across the river. Uh, okay. Alright then. Freaking Jesus. Sure. See, it fits perfectly. We have ourselves a bridge now. Mm -hmm. We're gonna walk over this shabby looking signboard. It's definitely gonna break. Shut up, Mew! I told you, objects don't break in this world. I see. Oh, so even this crappy signboard can be stirred the bridge in this world, huh? Listen up! The signboard is, so, is the only bridge we got, so don't... <laughs> Don't mess it up and let it be get washed away. If this signboard gets wasted away by the river, we won't have a bridge anymore. Stop it. Alright already. Jeez, you're so annoying. She kind of is. I don't know why I, Oh. Oh? Hi. Okay, I thought maybe they had passed already, but I guess not. Freaking Kokichi. Oh, thank god. I gave up when I realized I had no way to cross the river. <laughs> Where were you and what were you doing? Oh, I was in the forest over there looking for the secret of the outside world. Yeah, there's only monocoins over there, dude. But unfortunately, I couldn't find it. Well, I wasn't expecting it to be that easy anyway. Right, Gonta? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. It's more convenient than we all than we're when we're all together anyway. Mm -hmm. What do you mean convenient? <laughs> uh, nothing. Uh, whatever. Let's just get across the river. Okay. Hurry up and get over there, guy. Over here, guys. It's too late to head back now, okay? Sh Whoa, Shuichi. Okay, chill. <laughs> I didn't move you. Why do we have to see all of this movement? <sighs> that was stressful. But the thing about the objects not breaking was true. You know. That's what I've been saying. Hey. Aren't we just beyond the wavy lines drawn on the map? Ah. Uh. You'll find out if you keep going forwards. Why don't you go check it out? This is disconcerting. Yeah. Totally. Um. Oh. Oh, oh, what? I guess... Oh, I can't move. Huh? What was that? Can we not move past this? Oh, but Mew can. What just happened? For a second, I felt like I lost consciousness and everything went black. And now I'm here. No. Oh, because of the little transition that the... Is that what happened? That didn't happen to our bodies, but it happened to this world. Huh? What do you mean? But... But this is an accurate description, as if the world itself switched over. You're right! Could it be loading? <laughs> Correct! I'm not even gonna... Oh my. <laughs> you said the right word the first time. That being said... Anyway, Four Eyes is right. You all just passed through the map loading point. What? How low res is this... Map. You know. This is a place, yeah. In some games, if you go in a building, it'll take a moment for the inside to fully load. Well, the outside is like that too, because the virtual world is divided into two large maps. The wavy line represents where two maps meet. Think of these two maps as if they're, as if they're two different rooms. In the same way, you have to go through a door to move between two rooms. To move between two maps, you have to pass through the map loading point. Then. Is that why we can't see past the point on the binoculars on the roof? Ah. Obviously, you can't see what's inside another room when you're standing inside the other. What? I mean, I get the concept, I guess, but it's... Oh. A map loading point. <laughs> How fun! 
So not only does your sight get cut off, but sounds cut off too. Ah. Uh, yeah, you can't hear anything at all while you're inside the map loading point. So no sound goes through either? Did Kokichi say so said something while, while he was there? All right. So Japlin is over here, right? Well, I'm gonna go ahead then. Uh... It, what? Hey. hey, don't just go on ahead. I don't trust you being off alone by yourself. Yeah. I told you. Dips on the... Uh, ditto, yeah. It's because you pay attention to him that you're more likely to be tricked. Yeah. Makes sense. Ah, oh, <laughs> and Mackie is following him. Oh, so adorable. What What was Himiko doing? Oh, 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 what? I just saw Himiko doing something and I thought the cutscene wasn't over. But yeah. Okay, so we're on the other side of the world. So let's get into the chapel, I guess? Maybe let's explore a little bit to, to the sides. I think... Oh. What is this? Uh, what? Ah! So this is the secret of the outside world. You've earned seven monocoins. Come on, Chuichi, stop! <laughs> the, the secret of the outside world! One monocoin! Oh, what? Well then. Christmas decoration? This is a chapel. It's a mess, huh? <sighs> Searching this place is gonna be pretty hard. Hooyah! Now that we checked out all the important places in the virtual world... Listen up! Let's split up and look for the secret of the outside world. Huh? Oh, so we're splitting up, huh? That's probably better. I wonder what the secret of the outside world could be. Mercury hmm. did not give us much information about it either. Actually, are we going to be able to find it if we don't know what it is? I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe I don't know. There's no point in asking whether we'll find it or not. We just gotta do it. I guess so. That's a good ah. point. Yeah, that's right. Just keep an eye out for anything suspicious, and it's bound to turn up. Hmm. It sounds that we have a difficult task ahead of us, but I guess we have to see it through. Ah. Oh yeah, before we split up, I want to ask you something, Mew. Huh? Did they- oh! What are you two whispering about? Mind your business! Quit sticking your pot belly where it doesn't belong- what? I don't have a pot belly. I definitely don't have a pot belly. Oh. Uh, well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so who's going to decide how we split up? Leave it to me. Just leave it all to me. I'll figure out how everyone should split up in a flash. W wait. Hold up. I'll decide that. I know this world better than any of you. So, la so I'll decide. Let's see. Oh, you sure? Sure. Kaito, I want to search the rooftop of the mansion. What? What do you do? I gotta go up the rooftop. It's freaking cold out there. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way the faint-hearted Kaito can search in the cold. All right. Bring it on. All you do is search the rooftop, right? Kaito and Kokichi really don't seem to get along. <laughs> yeah. Well then. Kokichi, you're in charge of the salon. Okay. Got it. Hmm. We need about three more people to search the mansion. Doesn't matter who. What? This plan became pretty sloppy all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, I see. Then Gonti should come with me. We can search the mansion surroundings, since no one else wants to deal with the cold. Mm -hmm. Okay, going to come with you. Yeah. Hmm, a thorough gentleman was always volunteered to do the dirty work. The dirty work. Oh, Whatever. My. <laughs> so, you're just going to use Gonta again. I've decided. I'm going that way too. I have to make sure you're not abusing poor Gonta. Alright! We still need one one more for mansion duty. Shuichi, come with us. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, what's up, Maki? Oh, <laughs> is Maki upset? Because she's all by herself now. Oh. Even if I ask her, I suspect she will just ask me if I wanted to die again. And she'll keep quiet for now. Alright, everyone else, stick with me here in the chapel and look for a secret. I understand. So, Himiko, Maki, Miu, and myself. Understood. Uh, I wanted to explore the chapel, though. All right. Let's go back to the mansion. We gotta find the secret of the outside world. Maki roll. Do a good job, Maki roll. Oh. Hey, so. Hey, is Maki roll mad? Shuichi, did you do something? Uh, um... I, I don't know. I uh. Maybe let her go with with Kaito, and then we can. Yeah, and then maybe I can stay here or something. Let me tell with Maki. See what's wrong. Oh, she looks so cute in the, like, shimmy style. Oh. 
She's actually mad. Yeah. So with Kaito then? Oh, Kaito. Hey. Hey, so. Shuichi, what did you do to Makiro? If you know, you better apologize, okay? Uh, um. Yeah. I don't think I did anything to her. Can I like, talk with her? No. Oh. Dang, I, I was really hoping I would be able to resolve that situation. What is this? I suppose it makes sense for a chapel to have an organ. Kaido probably could have played the organ well too. Oh, Shuichi, shut up. <laughs> oh, hi, Kokichi. All right. Did everyone across the bridge? The bridge? Okay then, let's head to the mansion together. Huh. Oh, hi, Mew. Uh, uh what? Whoops, my hand slipped. Uh, huh? Uh, what are you doing? What? Uh, I just came here to see you guys off, and my hand accidentally slipped. What? Don't screw around. That was obviously on purpose. Uh, it wasn't on purpose at all. It was an accident. Yeah. I don't. You keep talking like that. You only ever attract ugly girls. Yeah, ugly. <laughs> Whatever. Do you want to spend the rest of your life surrounded by ugly girls, dumbass? Yeah. That's not even an insult. I'm famous for attracting ugly people. I met a lot of people up till now, but I've never met someone so messed up. Shit! That girl is so much trouble! Sorry. There was one more person here. But... What are the people in the chapel going to do? Now they have no way to get across. But... You're right. You can only look out from the salon in the mansion. Um... Well, maybe Mew can face it later. Let's get to the mansion already. That's right. I guess? We'll deal with them later. First, we gotta find the secret of the outside world. I guess? I feel like that's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna open up a problem. A big problem. The secret of the outside world. I can't imagine what it could be. All I can do is hope that it means a way out. Yeah, me too. Gonta and Kaito are gonna check the mansion's uh, surrounding and rooftops. I'll go to the salon. So can the plane, so can the plane pair, Sumugi and Shuichi. Go plainly search the dining hall, how, uh, the dining hall and kitchen, the dining hall hall. <laughs> Sorry, Shuichi, it's my, it's my fault you got plane paired with me. Right, right? But everybody knows that the plane pair is just plain dangerous, man. <laughs> Again with the tongue okay. twisters. Uh, I don't know about that. Um, I'm going to go now. Uh... It's a, a surprisingly cold out there, so be careful. She'll come back here to warm up. It's okay. Thank you, but Gonta okay. Gonta not smart enough, enough to get sick? What? Come on, man. Someone who isn't smart wouldn't want to save everyone. They'd only think of themselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, that's, that's hey. a really nice interaction. Okay, let's stop the fun chit chat and go back to looking for the secret on the outside. I, again, keep repeating the same word. <laughs> but we don't know what's waiting for us, so we gotta be very careful, okay? Sure, I guess. Uh, okay. All right, we'll start searching too. All right. Yeah, I want to hurry and find the secret of the outside world so we can get go back, man. Secret of the outside world. Secret of the outside world. Jesus, I want to go back to my real body. Nah. Well, these avatars aren't that bad, you know. Huh? These avatars? <laughs> just kidding. It's, it's just a joke. Yeah, I'm just joking. I'm gonna go check out the rooftop. You guys better not slack off. Bye, hey. Kanta. Shuichi, we shall go too. Okay. Let's go. Uh, where are you going? What? Uh, okay. Man, so getting paired up with Sumugi, huh? I really wasn't expecting that. Oh, what the heck um. is this? So, I'll check the dining room. Can you please check the kitchen, Shuichi? Leave it to me. All right, the kitchen is... All right, <laughs> all right, the kitchen is over here. Oh, car, oh, car, also in here. Let me just check something real quick. It's just as well made and the candles are certainly impressive, but this isn't the secret of the outside world. What is this? Shushi, are you the type of person who admires good craftsmanship? No. Not really. I'll investigate the kitchen now. Yeah, okay, kitchen. Hi. Is sheer heart attack gonna attack in here? Wow. <laughs> I know we're supposed to be searching for the secret of the outside world, but what is it? An object? Something else entirely? Wow. I doubt it's gonna be in a kitchen. Inside of a kitchen, anyway. I suppose I should search everywhere, look for anything suspicious. Oh, okay, so I have a bit of a theory. I feel like the person who finds the secret is gonna be dead. I feel like it. Because I feel, again, that when we get out of here, we are gonna stumble upon that person, like, dead or something. I don't know. Have that feeling. 
Yeah, don't, don't quote me on that, because I may be wrong, but who, who knows? I searched every nook and cranny in the kitchen, but... Nothing. Nada. Hmm. Huh. I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find anything suspicious. Perhaps I missed something? I'll look one more time. Okay, look one more time. But it's a waste of time. I found nothing. Yeah, I mean, I guess... It, it wouldn't make any sense for something to be here. Hmm. It's been a while, but I can't find anything. If I haven't found anything even after all of this, it can't be in the kitchen. What should I do now? Search somewhere else? Shuichi! Some you found something? How'd your search go, Shuichi? No. I didn't find anything. How about you? <sighs> ah, the same. I checked every corner, but I didn't find a thing. I'm starting to wonder if there's even something actually hidden here. Was Monokuma just lying? The way Monokuma was talking certainly was suspicious. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, bait? Yeah, of course I have. Okay, so is your curiosity piqued? And you have no choice but to go. Yeah, we want to know, so we'll definitely go. Yeah, I mean, we know. As the players, it was Kokichi who was steering that conversation. Yeah, exactly. I feel like, because we know that they talked. I don't know what they talked about, but yeah. Why will he do that? Huh? Oh, by the way, there's something that's been bothering me. Huh? That's... Something bothering um... you? Yeah, it might have just been my imagination, but... There's a small window in the dining room. Maybe 10 minutes ago, I looked through it, and I thought I saw Mew. Uh, <laughs> what? You saw Mew? But she should be in the chapel. Yeah. And the bridge failed, so she shouldn't be able to get over here, right? That's what I thought, it was just my imagination, but I figured I should say something. Oh! Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. Huh? Oh, the music changed. Okay. Ah. Uh. What? W what was that sound? No. It sounded as if something was struck very hard. It came from outside, but let's let's go what was look. That? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. What, what what is happening here? What? Yeah, let's go see. Guess. I mean, I mean while the war well, while the whole thing charges or loads or whatever. Can I look outside the window? I think I can. Okay. Okay. So, uh, is it outside or is it here in the salon? Hmm. What? Nothing in the entrance hall. Something outside, perhaps? Could it be? Maybe that sound was something falling off the roof. But the person on the roof is... What should we do? Let's go outside and check. Oh, no. Uh, what? What? Huh? What? What? That was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. He's on the clothes. But Kibo should be in the chapel. Why? Um, anyway, let's go outside. It'll be faster to see it for uh, ourselves. Okay. Right. Okay. Um. Oh. Hi, Gonta. Oh, Shuichi and Sumugi. Okay. Gonta. Did you see Kibo around here anyway? Wait, was it Kibo at the chapel? No. Um. Huh? You didn't, but I heard his voice close by. Did something fall off the roof? You heard that loud noise, right? Um. Are they like overlapping? Like the two sides of the world? Gonta hear noise, but Gonta no can huh? see anything. Huh? What could that mean? I thought I heard the sound of Kibo's voice close by. But Gonta didn't see anything? And what about Kaito? He should have heard that from the roof. We should run over here right away. He should have run over here right away. What does this all mean? Such strange occurrences. Alright, my talent is solving mysteries. So that's what I'm going all to right. do. We need to figure out why Kibo screamed. Let's head to the chapel. Something might have happened there. You're right. All right, so let's head there. Hold on. L let me check around here. Oh, okay, no problem. <laughs> no time for detours. You're right, Chuichi. You're absolutely right. Uh, hello. Um, hello. How are you Shuichi. doing? Shuichi. Shuichi, perfect timing. Is there anything over there that can serve as a bridge? What? Oh, okay. Kibo over there? Then what was the shouting I heard there earlier? Well... Huh? Hey, we should hurry and find something else to replace the bridge with. Right. Yeah, we might be able to make it in time. Huh? In time? Wh what? Uh, Kokichi, hey. hi. What happened? Why are you guys such making such a scene? Kokichi. <laughs> Kokichi. Um... I didn't see anyone in the dining room, so I went looking for you guys. <laughs> Looks like everyone's in trouble now that Mew dropped the bridge. 
Kokichi. Yeah, but there's no Mew and no Kaito. There's no time for laughter. We need to find our placement bridge. Ah. Oh, but the bridge is over here, you know. Huh? What? Is it? <laughs> Come on, over here. All right. The blanket or something? What? <laughs> Kokichi told us, told us, so now I'm worried. But Let's just wait and see what happens. What? Oh, okay, so we ended up here? Um, see the sign bar st stuck on that boulder? It's the same one Mio dropped, oh, yeah. right? You're right, it got swept all the way here. Allow Gonta. Leave it to Gonta. Don't you just need to carry signboard? Yeah. Okay. Thank all you, Gonta. Right. Now that now that that's dealt with, let's head back so there's to the to where everyone else is. Oh, they're here. Um So Gonta just need to pull put board over river. But board is so thin. Would it be okay? What if board breaks this time? You ta get it? It may be thin, but it's made of sturdy wood. So can you hurry up and put the bridge down? Uh, okay, got it. Okay, nice. I guess. Okay, they went through. What happened? What's wrong? What happened over there? Well, I'll explain later. But we need to look out right now. What? Huh? Look out? Um. Oh. Yeah, there's gonna be a problem. Yep. Where's Mew? Uh, Something happened to her. Huh? What do you mean? Well. We're not sure, but her avatar isn't moving. Oh, come on! Maybe something happened in the real world that's preventing him from moving? Hmm. This looks real bad, guys. Okay, let's head to the salon and log out ASP. ASAP. Well, as soon as possible, whatever. Hey. Hey, where's Kaito? Well, that's... Ah, Kaito. I don't know. I ran here as fast as I could. I didn't check the roof. What? You didn't even bother going to the roof to get him? You're colder than I thought. Huh? huh? Oh, come Shuichi. on. It's hurry. Yeah, let's hurry up, I guess. Calm the freak on. What is happening right now? Oh, what? Oh, come on, <laughs> what the heck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hi, Maki. Um, Did you check the roof? <sighs> he wasn't there. Oh, huh? she looks so scared. I told you. No one was on the roof. I tried calling for him, but there was no answer. Then... Where did he go? Maybe What's the point? he probably logged out first by himself. But don't worry, he's stupid enough to get himself killed, but I know he won't really die. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, le let's just go. I suppose it's true, but I, I don't have to worry about him. I have to hurry and log out. I have to check on Mew. Okay, so um, let's, uh, let's uh, yeah, log out. Okay. Shuichi. Hold on, Shuichi. We can only log out one person at a time. Um, going to have next turn. Oh, something's gonna happen. So going to just say name in phone, and sometimes come get him. Someone <laughs> come get. Him. Who cares? Just do it already. Going to. Gokuhara. Ah. He disappeared. So that's what looking out looks like. Oh. So the avatar disappeared when we log out. Ah, uh, but Mio's avatar is still there and unmoving. What does that mean? Oh. Yeah. Let's hurry and go back. Um. Sumuki Shirogane. What? Right? Oh, Shuichi, you can log out before me. I'm sure your, detective is, your detective's intuition is kicking in, right? So go ahead. Okay. What are you gonna do, Kokichi? Shuichi. Oh, wait. Now that we're alone, I want to tell you something. Huh? What is it? <laughs> You're really useful. Huh? Huh? Hey! So how about you stop hanging out with dumb old Kaito and be my friend instead? I can... I think I can be useful to you, too, you know? I can help you save everyone. You wanna save everyone, right? What is that supposed to mean? I'm... Shuichi Saihara. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got rejected, but I won't give up that easily. When I find, uh, I find someone I like, I do anything to get them to notice me, even strangle them. Okay, okay, he didn't log out. Okay, what is going to happen right now? Oh no. Ah. Ah, uh, indeed. When I opened my eyes, I could only see black. I was logged out. The helmet on my head was blocking my vision. When I realized that, I quickly reached up to grab the helmet and pulled it off. But when I did, a nauseating sight was waiting for me. Oh boy.
Oh, God! Muse called Dead Body. So remember last episode? That was a fun little episode, right? That some, a lot of stuff happened. You know, um, I did some free time. I completed some friendship fragments, you know, I... Um... Live and let the languid world live. Deadly life. I completed Mew's friendship fragments. Daybreak. The sun had risen, 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 while we were inside the virtual world. Ding dong, bing bong. Ding dong. A dead body has been discovered. Everyone, please report to the computer room. Wait, you're already here. <laughs> now then. Wow, I get to bring the, you the body discovery announcement live. Doing it, doing it live is great, better than beer. And that. Rise and shine, your <laughs> Daddy, have you always had such a potty mouth? Hey, um. I was holding back because we were already, <laughs> we already had one vulgar cast member, and now it's my time to shine. That's oh, gotcha. Nice. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm adorable, so I can get away with saying all kinds of crude stuff. Yay, I finally get to be a foul modded a hole. Yeah! What a bulgar last word! Hey. What's wrong, Monotaro? You're just staring blankly at the body. Eh? Staring at the body. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. Oh, that's right. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. We barely heard the announcement when we stared at Mew. Dumb found it. We just stared at Mew's corpse. I guess. That's terrible. Why did it end up like Why? this? Why? <laughs> What's going on? Why was Mew killed? <sighs> Gonta not understand either. Mew liked this when Gonta wake up. Why? What's going on? Why did this happen? Yeah. Well, it's obviously a murder happened. Huh? Murder? Weird. What do you mean? Did something happen while Gonta sleep? No. We were in sleep, and that wasn't a dream. We were in the virtual hey. world. Hey, where's Kaito? Oh. That's right, Kaito! He's almost as if on cue. We heard footsteps running r fast down the hallway, the sound growing louder until the door burst open. Hi! Hey, hey what's this all about? What was that body discovery announced? What, what the hell is going on here? You're too late, okay? All the others finished grasping, uh, grasping in terror already. By the way. But anyway, where were you this whole time, Kaito? What were you doing? So. I was just taking a nap. Huh? Taking a nap? Um. You were sleeping? That is so suspicious. Gonta was sleeping too. Had a strange dream. Gonta not understand anything. Um... As I said, that was the virtual world. Which means. So you logged out by yourself and then took a nap? Without our permission? You know, I suddenly got locked out. Before I realized it, I was back uh, here. Um, you were locked out involuntarily? Uh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know if it was okay to look back in, so I went back to my room and slept. Damn it. When that body discovery announcement woke me up, I rushed over here. <laughs> hey Kaito, if you're gonna lie, then you might as well do it better. Do you think you can make the killing game more excited with a crappy lie like that? Hold on! It is not a lie, I was really sleeping. Hey! Hold on a minute, we can discuss whether or not that's, that's a lie later. What we need to do right now is begin the investigation. We need to discover who killed <laughs> Mew. <laughs> you seem ready. Well, of course you are. Right? One of your dear friends was killed, so it's finally time for you to shine. Hmm. Explain, it however you, <laughs> explain it however you'd like, Kokichi. <laughs> don't patronize me. <laughs> the fact is, if you don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be executed. If we don't find out. No. But I won't let that happen. I'll find the culprit so that we can all survive. Um, Even if the culprit is Kaito? Don't screw around! What? Okay! Now, now! Please save your arguments for the class trial. In the meantime... Dun, da, da, da. 
The monokuma file! With this, you can even investigate up Mew's butthole. Eh? Even there? Oh, Monotaro! Now then. <laughs> well then, do your best. I'm certain you guys will make this turn of events even very entertaining. Oh, you're adding... Okay, you're adding that word at the end of every sentence? What? Daddy! Daddy seems to be really enjoying that dirty word. Oh... Mommy! Dang. Yeah. Okay, everyone, let's do this. I'll find the culprit this time, no matter what. Hey! What are you being so shiri about? What? Well, what are you sad about? You guys hated her. Not as much... Not as much as you hate me, but still. Stop it! That's not the issue. Of course I thought she was loud and annoying, I but... Mean... I never wanted her to die. I wanted us all, uh, us all to escape together. Yes. Mew was certainly brash and spirited, but she wasn't a bad person. Listen closely. Believe me, I have her perform maintenance on my body, so I know... I know very well. <laughs> I want to cry, but I can't. I should have had Mew install a crying function. Oh. Huh. What did your tears cause you to short circuit? No. Not at all. My body is completely waterproof. Oh, this isn't the time for that. <sighs> Gonta can't forgive this. No can't forgive this. Gonta, never forgive this. Never forgive Cooper Gonta, either. Idiot. But Gonta never forgives self. Gonta swore to protect everyone. But Gonta failed to protect Mew. Gonta no could protect anyone again. Gonta is failure, failure as gentleman. What? I'm so tired of this awful feeling. I have to do something. I can't let this. Shuichi! Shuichi, don't carry the burden all by yourself. Huh? huh? Listen up. You're my sidekick, don't forget. Yeah. We're gonna do this together. If we work together, we can solve this. Ah. No way, Jose! What? What? Well, you know. Shuichi is the most reliable person in a class trial, you know? Why will we let such an important person work together with a suspect like you? Huh? Suspect? You're saying that if I was the culprit, Shuichi would have the truth to protect me? Don't screw around! Don't underestimate me, Shuichi. Even if I was the culprit, he's the type of guy that sees things through. Hmm. But remember Kaede's class trial. Shut up! He saw us through that, didn't he? I believe in Shuichi. Uh, okay. Kaito. <laughs> you love to believe, don't you, Kaito? You really don't. But that belief can turn against you, especially in this killing game, you know? <sighs> I've got no idea what you're talking about. I don't get it at all. Fine, if you're gonna get all worked up over it, then me and Shuichi won't team up. But... Oh. Don't worry about it. it it's just for now. <laughs> Hear him say that. I can't stay quiet. I believe in you. That's it. First get through this on your own. Clear me of suspicion with your own power. <laughs> if you can be cleared. This is gonna be a really messed up chapter, I feel. I don't like this at all. It feels like another of Kokichi's tricks. Oh, of course it is. Of course, this is Kaito we're talking about. Nothing I say could change his mind. Regardless, there's only one thing I can do. I can't be afraid. I can't get, lo get lost now. In order to protect everyone, I have to do something. I have to do something. Investigation, alright. We have a little bit of time left to do this. I should check the Monokuma file. Yep. The victim is the ultimate inventor, Mio Iruma. The body was discovered in the computer room in the fourth floor. Approximate, approximate time of death is 6.30 a.m. There are no external wounds on the body. There are no external wounds? No external wounds. Kill around 6.30 in the morning. The time of death happened 30 minutes before now, while we were still in the virtual oh. world. Kukichi, what do you want? You don't have to be so wary of me. It's not like I'm gonna get in your way, Chuichi. Um... It's just... I hate lies so much that I tend to suspect others a lot. Kaito said he wouldn't team up with you for this case, but he can't trust those words. So that means... That's why I'm keeping an eye, an eye out, just in case he tries to bother uh, you. Um... Keeping an eye out? It's true! I don't... Don't take it the wrong way, though. I'm not trying to replace Kaito as your partner, okay? Alright! But I'll help you as much as I can. So, where are you going to investigate now? All right, visor. Let's look at her visor. This is the device we wore on her head to enter the virtual world. Some helmets still have their cords plugged in; others have them removed. Hmm. I'm positive that we're on that we were on that they were unplugged after logging out. 
And that's it. The cords. We were supposed to plug the two cords from the computer into our helmets. The red for, for consciousness, the blue for memory. If you got those two mixed up. What? A glitch. The vice instructions has been added to truth bullet section of your monopath. Oh boy, alright, let's examine her body. Mew's hands are clasped around her neck as if she were grasping for air. Her eyes were wi are wide open in panic. She must have suffered quite a bit. Oh my god. Wow. That's one grotty face. Mew must have suffered a lot. <laughs> a bulgar death fit for a bulgar. Alright, dude. Hey! Stop it, Kokichi. Even if you're joking, that's too far. It's nothing. You're right. You shall never speak ill of the dead, no matter how much you hated them. I suppose I'll never get Kokishi to change. But... But what's Mew's cause of death? It doesn't say in the monokuma file. Um... May I? I wanted to let you know just in case. Ter uh, just in case it turns out to be a clue. By the way... I was the first one to look out and find Mew's body. She was still wearing the helmet and her body was contorting into this awful position. Maki looked out after I did and she helped me take Mew's helmet off. <laughs> and then... She was gone. Hey, hey! Is that a confession? Hi. How is that a confession? Anyway, the question is the cause of death. What caused her to suffer like this? Whoa! Muse Corpse has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopath. Now we're talking with Monotaro, I kinda wanna comfort him. <laughs> oh. Mommy! Oh, is that it? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna get into investigation mode just in case I meet I miss anything. It doesn't seem like I... Yeah, because everything is just visor, right? Yeah, visor, visor. So I guess I'll just have to talk with everyone. I'm gonna start with Himiko. I never thought Mew will be killed. When I saw her avatar there, not moving, I thought maybe, but... You're right. You saw that Mew's avatar in the virtual world had stopped moving. Yeah. Me, Kibo, and Maki all found her avatar. Hey. Can you tell me more about that? Any details? Hi. We were looking for the secret of the outside world at the chapel. Hey. Mew was too, right? No. no, Mew volunteered to look around the outside of the chapel, so she wasn't with us. Oh. Right, Mew volunteered to look around out outside? <sighs> we searched, but we couldn't find anything. And right when we were starting to get tired, all of a sudden we heard a really loud sound outside. That must have been the sound we heard as well. <laughs> but there was no sound between the two zones. Something must have hit the wall of the chapel really hard. We found it all the way from the inside. Something hit in the chapel hmm. wall. So we all rushed outside to check the side of the chapel and we found Mio's avatar. Uh, um, That's when you when you went to log out, to check Mio's real body, what? correct? But when we went to River, the bridge was gone for some reason. Yeah, she Jeez. took it out. That's also really weird. Then while we were standing around wondering what to do, you guys Thank showed you. up. I see. Thank you. That testimony sounded important, especially about how they couldn't cross the river. Because? Because if they weren't able to cross, then no one would have gone, could have gone between the mansion and chapel. <laughs> and this helps us narrow down the people who could have come into contact with Mew. Well, I don't know. Who could have come into contact with Mew with at the chapel? I don't know. I don't even know if it's only the people at the, at the chapel. Because can you die inside of the game? Kaito? That's right. Shuichi, I gotta explain. Just so you don't misunderstand. Uh, um, explain what? Ah. You're talking about how you logged out by yourself, right? Okay, let's hear it then. What? Why are, why are you... Yeah. Feel free to lie, of course. Exposing lies is a real pleasure of this game, after all. Don't screw around! What? Hey! Kaito, just ignore him and talk to me, okay? I mean... About the whole logging out thing. I don't really get it myself. When I was looking for the secret of the outside world on the rooftop, a circle lifted up, on, lifted up under me. I was suddenly sucked in, and before I knew it, I was locked out. What? A circle? Same thing happened when I used the phone to log out. How did that happen on the roof? That is pretty weird. Uh, um, and what happened after you logged out? So... Everyone else was still logged in, but I couldn't. I didn't know if it was okay for me to be logged back in. So I just went back to my room and slept. Since it was done, I was pretty um, tired. And the body discovery announcement woke you? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's right. I heard you then rush back hey. here. Do you remember what conditions, uh, what condition Mew's body was in when you logged out? I didn't pay attention to that, so I don't know. 
You didn't notice anything wrong? Like whether she was dead or not? Like I said, I don't know. Okay, sorry. So I just need to... So I just need to object to the contradiction in the testimony, right? I said I'm not lying. Tell him, Shuichi. Shuichi. No, Shuichi. In order to find the truth, you can't be biased. I mean, that's kind of truth, but... Still. Can't just account, alright? Uh, okay, let's talk with Maki. Oh, I sorry. <laughs> I hit the computer. Yeah, Maki. Yeah, hi. Maki was working on the computer. Her hand moving the mouse around rapidly. Um, you know how to work that computer, Maki? Nope. No, not really. I've never used this program before either. Hmm. I see. I imagine that it will be difficult to understand that unless you're an expert. Well... But I did find the text file regarding this program. It has info about the program's basic features. But there's, other than that, there's not much. Oh. So what did it say? Huh. Ah. If you don't want to tell me, at least tell it to Shuichi. <sighs> According to this text file... Killing Game Simulator used a certain program as the base. It's called Neo World Program. Hmm. Neo World Program? Never heard of it. Well, I I in this Killing Game Simulator, objects can't break. Your body's five senses are connected to your avatar, and your avatar cannot be harmed. But any damage inflicted into your avatar will be transferred to your body in the real world. Oh, that matches what Mew told us, that's yeah. That's true. If your avatar receives fatal damage, then your real body will die from shock. Huh? So that's definitely what happened. That's oh. totally what happened. This is the first time we're hearing about this. If someone receives a fatal injury in the real virtual world, then they die in the real world. Hmm. Well, your five senses are connected, so it makes sense you'd feel the same amount of pain. Right? Yeah, pain, but not actual death. I mean, yeah, it, it makes sense, but still. It wouldn't be too surprising if you died from the fatal injury. The more important question is, why did Mio keep such an important detail a secret? This is strange. I have no idea why she wouldn't mention such an important detail. Did she hide that from us well. on purpose? That's all it says about the virtual world's basic features. The rest of the virtual world is the same of the, as the real world, including the laws of physics. Thank you, Maki. That was very helpful. Helpful. Yeah. So that's weird. Why didn't, didn't she take that out? Maybe she couldn't? Probably. But is the info in the text file correct? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Nuh uh. I'm not doubting you or anything, Mackie. But I'm just I'm just saying that file could have been rewritten. It's possible someone rewrote the original but... into false info. But to determine that, you will need expensive knowledge of computers. It's my time to shine. It looks like a job for me. Huh? What? Eh? Huh? Stop it. I is he gonna help? Don't get it in our mm. way. I won't get in the way. In fact, I want you to let me help with the investigation. What? Hey. Help with the investigation? Monotaro, what are you saying? Hey. Come on, please. Won't you let me help with the investigation? Ever since I forgot I'm bad with computers, I'm good with computers now. What? What are you talking about? That logic doesn't make any sense. No way! You can't, Monotaro. You're not allowed to help the participants. As mascots, we gotta stick to that rule. I don't care. I don't give a fart about the rules. I wanna help everyone. <laughs> I wanna bench my dead mommy. Huh? Your mommy? You mean Mew? Not that. No, Monotaro. You've forgotten again. You've forgotten that she's not our mother. I want you. And you've forgotten about the important person you need to protect. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm busy avenging mommy's death. <laughs> How sad. But it looks like this is goodbye. I love you, but there's someone I need to protect. Goodbye. There's someone so you need to protect. Farewell. Whoa. Oh, uh-oh. Is Mono finally um. gonna end up being the mastermind or something? Alrighty then, let's get, let's do this. All right, huh? a cub, uh, a Mono cub, uh, companion. <laughs> that, that seems kind of fun, so actually. What? I don't care either way. If you want to help, then that's fine. Hmm. True, I suppose, Thanks. but... Thanks! Thanks! I'll do my best for mommy's sake. No. Wait, perhaps we should... <laughs> He's doing his best for his dead mommy. I'm so touched. Okay. Alright, fine. I'll leave it to you, then. I suppose I have no All choice. Right. I'll start analyzing the computer right away. Okay. Whoa, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah! <laughs> Computer is no match for my hands. Okay, you don't gotta destroy yeah. it. 
His hands are going at such an intense speed that the friction is creating fire. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that was it? All right. I've already analyzed a few things. Huh? Already? Okay. The text file is consistent with the original program. It doesn't look like it was altered. Yay! Also, I find this too. Is this? This looks like the information of when everyone logged in and out. Okay. There's no sign that it was altered either. It's definitely accurate information. Hey. Could you show it to me? It really does have everyone's login and logout times recorded. Well, Aside from Mew, everyone was logged in and out once. Right. Then it would appear that no one secretly logged out and then logged back in. Then my main concern becomes... Yeah, Kaito logged uh, way ahead of us. Yeah, 517. Couldn't be him. If no one logged out... Yeah, that definitely doesn't bode well um... for him. Also, there's something else I noticed while I was analyzing the program. So... It is like some parts of the program were re rewritten. The program's been rewritten? Oh. Obviously, Mio was the only person capable of doing that. Hey, hey. So, which files did she rewrite and what did she change? Okay. I'll analyze that, of course, but it's gonna take a little time. Yeah. Well, as long as it's done by the class trial, then Shuichi will be able to avenge Mio. He's just saying whatever he pleases. All right. Then I'll keep on analyzing the crap out of this program. You're so reliable. That's true. Yeah, way more than you. <laughs> Key boy. Um, I've been wondering, what was the secret of the outside world that we were searching for anyway? That's true. We got sidetracked by Mew's murder case. We never discovered what was what that secret actually was. Hmm. We couldn't find anything at the chapel, and we found nothing at the mansion, right? Uh Okay. No, Sumugi and I didn't find anything. I didn't find anything either. That's probably the same with Kaito and Gonta too, right? Right? And knowing them, if they had found something, they would have told us right yeah. away. Yes, they would have, unlike you. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Shuichi, did you hear that? The robot's being sassy with me. You're a pretty advanced robot. You can be sassy and make excuses. <laughs> Okay, we're done with that. And finally, let's talk with Sumugi. Like I thought. It ended up like this after all. I had a bad feeling. Ever since I thought I saw Mew from the dining room window. And again, they both, oh. like everyone heard the, the sound. I still, I still don't know. Like it's, it's a lot of things don't really add up. But I don't know. I feel like everything is gonna start coming together soon enough. Maybe someone's lying. What? Lying? Uh, hey. what? By the way, Kaukichi, did you hear the loud noise or Kibo's voice at all? Ah. Hmm, I'm not sure. I must have not noticed because I was too busy searching. <sighs> You're lying to his face. Kaito. Hey, hey. You keep interrupting me when I talk. Do you like me or something? Oh, well, who liked you, Thomas? I was interested in Chuichi's conversation. Huh? My conversation? Ah. You heard Kibo's voice when it should have been impossible. Can you tell me more about that? Um, well, what I said before was pretty much everything. After that, we headed back to the chapel to see what happened. Uh, and then we used the signboard that I found as a bridge. What about it, though? Did you notice anything? I suppose not. But... I see you're working hard. It looks like you're starting to take this game seriously, Kaito. Shut up! Shut up. <laughs> yeah. So Mugi's account has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopath. So, guys, I feel like this is a good time to end this episode. Uh, so I guess we'll keep checking next time, guys. Uh, I'm very excited to see what will be. I'm gonna... Yeah, no, I'm not gonna exit to the main map thingy. Because I wanna start right from here. Like, end it here and start right from here. So anyway, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, expect new videos for this show and any other game that you want to see. Uh, like Subnautica or uh, Besiege or other games that I'm uh, thinking of bringing into the channel. And maybe even streams, you know, I'm streaming on Twitch, so definitely go check that out. And yeah, once again, I'm Lucianel, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.